in China, we expect that recovery to be happening even by year end. But then in India, we also see that the market, because it's largely domestic, 80% of our business in India is domestic. We do expect that that will recover probably to pre-COVID levels sometime by the end of next year. However, in Southeast Asia, a lot of demand is driven by international. So that means that borders need to be open so that travelers can come in. And we do see that this will be a prolonged impact. And probably uh, it's kind of out of our control because it does depend largely on legislation and things like travel bubbles um, being opened up. But it could be anything until 2023 before our industry fully recovers. Uh, Katrina, good morning. Tanvi joining in this conversation. So you're giving us a timeline of about a year, two years on all of your performing uh, metrics. Uh, I do want to understand uh, what about cost management strategy in the interim to really tie through this tough period? Cost management is essential, and this has actually given us a breather to go in and relook at everything and manage on a daily basis how costs are emerging. Uh, during the interim, when before RevPAR does come back, we have to, of course, adjust our costs, and many of our costs in the business are variable, so we can control that. Um, we've got to be building now what we can using technology to automate exactly what customers are wanting to, in our contact list uh, check-ins and the likes to, to automate, and ultimately this will also help with cost management. Uh, but I do want to point out that um, whilst we're obviously challenged by uh, recent events now, Asia-Pacific does remain a strong growth region for our company and for our industry. So we do expect that we'll be adding, we've got 280 hotels in our portfolio in the region now, we do expect to add another 2,000 hotels over the next five years.